I've been asked to take a look at these PS5 controllers. Apparently one of them doesn't come on, and one of them has faulty buttons. Let's figure out which is which. Well, that one comes on. We get the blue light. And that one doesn't come on. Process of elimination. So let's take them over to the PC and use the gamepad tester to test the gamepads. Okay, let's do the first one. This is the one that does come on. And there we go, it's come up on the screen. So let's test the buttons. Trigger, trigger. Aha. Right, so everything works apart from triangle and square. Okay. So that's that one. This is the one that doesn't come on at all. I'm going to try plugging it in, see if it recognises it. Yes, it does. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's try the buttons on this one. Analog sticks work. Okay, this is weird. Ah, right, the, the D-pad doesn't work. Start, select, do, the middle one does. Ah, the power button doesn't work. That's probably why it isn't coming on. Oh, and none of the... None of those buttons work either. Triangle, square, X and zero. Right, so there's obviously something wrong there where there's quite a lot of buttons out. Oh, is that going to be like a ribbon cable issue or... I don't know. Let's get them back over to the blue mat and we'll start with the one where there's just two buttons that don't work. Hopefully that's an easy one. Right, let's take this one apart. Again with the stupid rap, VOS with the pen, whipping up lyrics to make them rhyme. While PS takes on this mental time, forgetting how to take these controllers apart. Because he's an idiot, but let's make a start. I'm showing some love to Sigma 4 and the rest of the CD, like Christopher Shaw. Two hours by the bug, here we go, we're getting into it now. The support hero by Anthony Dean, he's making this look hard. Ah, yes, the old heart. So we're in. This side here is where those buttons are. Only two of them weren't working, so I don't think it's going to be a problem with the ribbon cable. I think we need to get under here. I, I, if I'm honest, I can't remember how to do this. Let's try undoing some screws. If in doubt, take more screws out. There we go. Right, so it's these two buttons here, and they look perfectly clean. So where do they run to? They run to there. Ah, so it's actually... Ah, oh, I vaguely remember this now. So those contacts there make contact with this part here. Let's just see if we've got an ohms reading from this part here to here. Let's start with that. Multimeter on ohms. In fact, can we take the whole thing out? That would probably make life easier, wouldn't it? Yes, we can. Let's start with this one here, see if this comes up over here anywhere. Yep, yeah, 22 ohms there. Let's try this one. Yep, yeah, 21 ohms. And then we've got this one. Yep, yeah, 23 ohms. And then finally this one. 23 ohms. So there's like four different contacts within this part here and they're all coming up over here let's see if that one comes up over here I'm guessing they're going to because the first one did yep 20 ohms so 
21 ohms, 18 ohms, and 20 ohms ish. Okay, so they're all getting there from where the button presses are. So the problem must be on the board. Either this point here isn't making a good contact with the board, or there's something else wrong. Just to show you the pad here, these are the two buttons here. These are these are perfectly clean. There's there's nothing wrong with those. Having said that, that top one doesn't appear to be as shiny. Like, you can see the reflection on the other three. Hmm, okay, maybe, maybe that is the problem. No, I doubt it. I can test that, can't I? Okay. That one works. That was the the one that looked a bit dull. No, it still works. That's slightly less, that's 56. What's that one? 49, okay. That one's 82. 66. Do you know what? I am just going to give, give these a quick clean. I mean, you will think 30 ohms would make much difference, but you never know. I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol. First, I'm just going to rub them with an eraser. This eraser. Right, let's test those now. Okay, it was that one. 70, slightly better. 70. 60. And 70. Okay, well they're all pretty similar now. I don't think it's gonna be that, but what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly put it back together. It's very possible that it just, that ribbon cable wasn't seated properly. So I will give this area a quick clean, which is where it, makes contact well, let's put it back together and just see what happens All right, I think that'll do for now no, it won't, because it's not coming on. What have I done? Well, more to the point, what haven't I done? I will clean this, by the way. All right, I've completely killed this one, and I don't know how. <laughs> um, let's just check the voltage in this battery, just in case. Multimeter on voltage DC. Right, Three point six volts, so that should be enough. Hmm. Right, I'm going to try plugging it in anyway to the gamepad tester. Let's see if we get similar to the other one. The one that had no power at all. It might have developed to the same fault, which would be weird. Hmm. Right, okay, so it does recognise it. Triggers work. Ah, now none of the buttons work. Thumbstick buttons work, and thumbsticks work. D-pad doesn't work, and none of the X, circle, triangle or square work. So I presume the power button doesn't work. No, it doesn't. So this one has now developed the same fault as the other one. Let's take it back over to the blue mat. Well, let's get this board back out, and let's see if... I don't know. Let's see if the button is not working on the circuit board, but it was before, so why would it not be now? Wait a second. That's the power button there, isn't it? Not that. That's for... Yeah, it's like the microphone mute button or whatever it is. So it's all to do with this. Like, none of those are working. So we're back to where we were before, only it's slightly worse in that this is not making a good connection. Why are they not making a good connection? I wonder if I'd put pressure on it there, whether it would then work. Yeah, it's flashing. You can just make that out. Right, because I think it's all to do with the pressure that's on here, 
I'm going to put a little piece of cardboard behind this to try and just elevate it slightly. I mean, it's not too thick, but I figure it will... I don't think it will do any harm, but then what do I know? I'm hoping that applies nice, even pressure onto this board here now. So let's find out. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to get some double-sided tape just to stick that down. I'm going to put it all back together. I know it's foolish, but I think it's going to work now. See if it still comes on. Yes, it does. Let's go and test it on the gamepad tester. Right, there we go. It recognises it. Triggers. Yes. Analog. Yes. D-pad. Yes. Yes. X. O. Triangle. And square. Excellent. This one doesn't work. I think it's the microphone mute button. Does that even show up on this? Yeah, the power button definitely works. Okay, I think that one's fully working, but I just don't know about that. That button. The microphone button. I'm going to go and get mine, and then I'll know. Because mine fully works. Right, this one's mine. Okay. No, that one doesn't work. Okay. Right, well, that's fine. So it, it doesn't detect that as a button. Okay, well, at least I know. Fully working. Nice. Let's move on to the other one. Okay, so that one's done. Let's go back and have another look at this one. I think this is going to have exactly the same problem as that one developed. I think it's just going to be a problem with the, the membrane. This one might be a little bit dirtier. So, I'm guessing it's going to need a good clean as well. But let's find out. Ooh, that's a different battery. Okay, so the battery's been changed. Let's just make sure it's not a problem with that battery. It shouldn't be if it's got a new one in, but it's obviously aftermarket. Multimeter on voltage DC. 3.2. It's very low. Hmm. Mind you, the button wasn't working, was it? So I'm going to assume it's the same thing. This one is slightly different. These women cables are different. Hmm. I mean, that all looks nice and clean, but I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to give it a quick clean, and I'm also going to put a little piece of cardboard behind it to hopefully make it have a good connection. There you go. We got the flashing blue light. So is that the same problem? I wonder how many of these have had that problem then. I'm guessing it's quite a common thing. Right, well I'll give this one a clean. I'll put it back together. And then we'll head over to the gamepad tester. And test the gamepad. Gamepad tester time. Okay, here goes. Come on. There it is. Right. Triggers. 
Yes. Up. Up, left, down, right, whatever. X, zero, triangle, square. Yes. Analog sticks. Yes. These buttons. Yes. The middle button. Yes. The power button. Yes. So isn't it interesting that we had two different faults, but the problem on both of them was the same. Stupid membranes. Bro, you get to maintain, cause a brother like me is going insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain.